What are viruses? The viruses are extremely small substances made of nucleic acids and proteins. They are visible only through an electron microscope. They do not live freely in nature. They can live only inside other cells. They take over the metabolism of their host cell in their own favor producing more virus and usually killing the host cells. The viruses can be cultured on living tissue in laboratory and can be crystallized and stored on the shelf. The viruses are highly specific. They attack only one kind of host and only certain tissues. For example, the virus of myxomatosis, which is fatal to rabbits, has no effect on man. And similarly, the rabbits do not catch the common cold and flu. But there are some exceptions. Common viral diseases and their prevention. Poliomyelitis. Popularly known as polio, it is primarily a disease of children. In severe cases, it causes paralysis of the legs. In mild cases, it may even go undetected. The virus is spread by secretion from the nose throat and also intestinal wastes. The incubation period is from 7 to 14 days. Prevention An effective vaccine called SOX vaccine has been developed from dead virus. Children who have received the vaccine are absolutely safe. India has taken up a massive program for the eradication of polio under Pulse Polio program in which young children are given polio vaccine drops orally. Mumps This is a disease marked by a very painful swelling in the neck below the ears where it affects the parotid salivary glands. School going children catch it very quickly. The incubation period is 12 to 26 days. Prevention Isolation of patient for 7 to 10 days. Crockery and other feeding utensils and the handkerchief used by the patient should be disinfected by boiling. Rabies Hydrophobia it is primarily a disease of dogs, foxes and other animals. It is often transmitted to humans by the bite of a rabbit that is mad dog. The saliva of the dog contains the virus. The incubation period is about one month or more. The disease affects the central nervous system. There is no cure if the disease has once appeared, but it is possible to prevent its appearance by giving daily injections for two weeks of increasingly stronger preparations of the weakened virus. More recent improved medicine is injected fewer times. Dogs can also be immunized by the vaccine. HIV or AIDS. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus and AIDS stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. AIDS was first recognized in the USA in 1981. Since then, an increasing number of cases are reported every year from practically all over the world. In India alone, it is estimated that there are more than 2 lakh confirmed cases of AIDS patients. 
The disease is spreading at an alarming rate and it has no cure as yet and no vaccine so far. The disease is almost fatal. People in the age group 20 to 39 are more susceptible to getting AIDS. Causative germ of AIDS The causative germ of AIDS is a virus named HIV and that is human immunodeficiency virus. It has been detected in body fluids like blood, semen, saliva, tears, and urine. It attacks the immune system, that is the cells that fight against infections, and the patient suffers seriously from even minor infections of other diseases. Even cancers appear when the immune system fails. The incubation period, that is, the time between receiving the infection and the appearance of the symptoms may even be more than 10 to 12 years. During this period, the infected person show positive results for HIV and they are popularly called HIV positive. Other common viral diseases Disease Incubation Mode of transmission Symptoms Prevention and cure First is chickenpox Incubation period is 14 to 20 days Mode of transmission Contact with infected person Use of personal articles of infected person. Symptoms Skin rashes form crusts, fever, headaches, general discomfort. Prevention and cure No preventive measures. Attack gives permanent immunity. Next is common cold. Incubation period 1 to 3 days. The mode of transmission is through moisture droplets released by infected during sneezing and coughing. Contact with personal articles solved by nasal discharge. Symptoms are profuse nasal discharge often accompanied by headache. Body's resistance to germs reduced. Prevention and cure. Infected person must cover mouth and nose while sneezing or coughing. Rest and avoidance of chilling. Third is German measles. Incubation period is 14 to 21 days. Mode of transmission is contact with infected person. Symptoms are headache. Enlarged lymph nodes, cough, sore throat, rash. Prevention and cure is vaccine. Attack gives permanent immunity. Next is influenza. Incubation period is 24 to 72 days. Mode of transmission is it is spread by discharges from nose and throat. Symptoms are fever, chills, muscular aches and pains. Prevention and cure is vaccine, effective only for a few months. Number 5. Jaundice, which is infectious hepatitis. Mode of transmission is exposed unhygienic food and fluids. Symptoms are losses of appetite, yellowish coloration due to excess bilirubin that is bile pigment in the blood since liver cells are inflamed and unable to function normally.
prevention and cure there is no prevention and cure last is measles incubation period is 10 to 14 days mode of transmission is contact with infected person symptoms are fever rash red watery eyes runny nose prevention and cure is vaccine transmission of aids sexual intercourse sexual intercourse between a man and a woman when any one of the two is infected the virus occurs in the fluid of the reproductive passages prostitution is the biggest source of the spread of the infection safest is the single partnership wife and husband relationship homosexual intercourse or anal sex with an infected person the disease is more common in homosexual males contaminated blood transfusions in many situations the patients have to be given blood transfusions as an excessive bleeding resulting from injury or during surgery etc some children are born with the disease thalassemia with defective hemoglobin of the blood such children have to be given regular blood transfusions usually every 3 to 4 weeks and very often the blood transfused is from professional donors such children run the risk of getting aids according to news published in the times of india dated august 5 1995 in one of the hospitals of bombay alone 45 of the 64 thalassemia children in the age group 2 to 15 years were found to be hiv positive that is they had received the virus the infection must have occurred through blood transfusion mother to child transmission the germ from the infected mother may cross through the placenta and reach the embryo in the womb shared needles injection needles if shared by more than one person may introduce the virus from one individual to another the disease is quite common in drug abusers for the same reason doctors in hospital now use only disposable syringes which are used just once prevention methods Number 1 pregnant women should be routinely counseled and voluntarily tested for HIV Number 2 use of a new sterile needle or syringe with each injection remains the safest Number 3 say no to drugs Number 4 avoid intimation with more than one partner Number 5 use of condoms Number 6 before transfusion blood should be tested for HIV